Um, uh, but uh, Rishi Sunak there saying it basically it's passed in the his Rwanda bill has passed in the Commons. Now it's time for the Lords to pass it to the appointed Lords. He stressed that uh, he said this is an urgent national priority, uh, and he said he wants to know will the opposition in the House of Lords, Labour and Lib Dems, or will they frustrate the will of the people? Indeed, actually, an awful lot of Tory peers would try and do that. He talked about this as a deterrent, uh, and uh, is pointing out to, that to Labour he says talk the talk, but they have no plan and says they'll take us back to square one um, and it's time to start the flights. And that, uh, as you just heard there, he says that uh, Keir Starmer said he would uh, scrap the Rwanda plan even if it was actually working and providing a deterrent. Uh, we're going to be talking to uh, our political commentator, Peter Carwell, a bit later in the show. He's going to stay throughout this entire press conference. Also going to talk to uh, these spectators, James Hill, very soon. But let's bring in uh, Philip Ingram again, who's still with me. Um, Philip, um, uh, you know, it was short and sweet, um, and basically it's, it was sort of Rishi Sunak sort of trying to come off the back foot as much as he can. Um, yes, he won that vote last night, um, only 11 rebels, but, you know, some pretty key people, former Home Secretary, former Immigration Minister, who think the people who perhaps know the most whether a, a policy is likely to work, they don't think it will. Um, do you think he said enough? I mean, he's trying to make this a battle between the Commons elected by the people and the Lords. Is that going to fly as a, as a way of garnering support? I, I, I think with his body language and his tone that he came in, he's clearly bruised. Yeah. Um, and, and that came across very well. And he was trying to bring in some of the other areas where he has actually been having some successes. And this whole thing about Rwanda and the whole Tory infighting that's been going on around it has stopped those successes coming to the forefront of um, political and political debate and debate in the press. Yeah. Um, and, you know, he's losing. He's, this is going to be a, this is a Pyrrhic victory for him. Yeah. He'll get this through. He may not get any flights off the ground because you know, if the rebels are right, if the rebels are right, there's still paths to challenge. Um, and it's whether he's got the wherewithal to just yeah. ignore the challenges and do it. But will it and, and again, and that was what the rebels wanted, which is like, you're going to have to literally say, no, I'm going to ignore that, the pyjama injunctions from the European exactly. Court of Human Justice and appeal after appeal after appeal, and we've seen that. Yeah, and again, my thing is, even if they get off the ground, it's, it's just not, it's a drop in the ocean, isn't it?